Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. I woke up to a cigarette, a cigarette next to some food. I ain't finished yet. Finished yet. And I don't really care about my appetite. I'm Frank the Butcher, brand manager, designer at Concepts in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Had an epiphany, it hit me like a nine iron. Concepts, 1996. First started in the back of the tannery as a shop inside of a shop. At the end of this threshold, everything changed. Like the whole culture, the store changed, the music changed, the people that work back here changed, and obviously the product changed. So when you came back here, it became like the, the secret for the kids in the know, for all the skaters in the area. Revolving around snow and skate culture and the sneaker culture, you know, early 90s, you know, leading all the way up to its opening in 1990s. The official, 1995, 1996, in the back of the tannery that was designed to feed a customer that no one knew existed, you know? Um, things have changed, obviously. Here we are, 2010, you know, we're in a new location, around the corner. So right here are some of the projects that I've been fortunate enough to, to work on, concepts. Um, you can see we got multiple brands here. We got Timbaland, which we got a great relationship with. This right here is the Connaught boot, which was designed to kind of, you know, inspired by like that born identity, that, you know, that special forces, you know, um, military feel. This right here is our collaboration with New Balance. It was called the Freedom Trail Pack. And it was inspired by the Freedom Trail that runs through Boston. And, and what it is, is it's, a, it's an actual trail that links all the historical sites. And you can see the, the, the brown leather, you know, chocolate suede and leather, off-white midsole. It's red, red laces, red pops, represents the trail, the red bricks. Our customer wants more, a quality product. And at the end of the day, that's what we try to deliver, something that's quality. Quality, quality, quality is, is, is number one over here. And if we can link it to a story and make it more interesting, I think that's even better. This is when we worked with Sorrel this past winter. It dropped the week of Christmas. Now for me, this was a scary one because I didn't know if our customer was ready for something so extreme, you know? Um, I mean, we dabble, we do Clarks, we do boots, we do all types of things, but this is extreme. This is heavy duty, you know what I mean? So um, when the opportunity, you know, came up for us to work with Sorrel, you know, I didn't quite jump, you know what I mean? I, I, I wanted to, but I, I was struggling with making sure we can make it work. And you know what? During that design process, I'm working with Sorrel, the great guys over there, and at the end of the process, I was I was confident. And when we dropped them um, the week of Christmas, we couldn't bring them up out of the stock room fast enough. I think as customers or as fans of this industry, you kind of have that false impression, like if I designed a sneak, I would do it like this, it'd be dope, it's easy. Yeah, I've had projects where I can't even get over the hump, man. Like I got certain sneaker projects that, you know, you think that you know what you're gonna do, you think that it's simple, you think that it's easy, but it's a process, it's a creative process. And when you have a lot of things happening at one time and a few projects happening at one time, you get drained, man. And I used to think it's easy. I love what I do, I appreciate the opportunity, I love the creative process, I love working with the partners that I work with in different companies, but now I have a better understanding, you know, what it takes to put out product that people will enjoy. Bottom line is I do what I do for my family and for my wife and my kids. You know, I've had the opportunity to do something that I like to support my family and, you know, I'm gonna do that by all means necessary. You know, that's what that's what it's about. My little ones. My badass kids. <laughs> okay.